Your destiny is that lemon. You can't eat it. It's not time. Does anyone know how to curse a real sword? Looks like you brought five knives to a godfather. Please stand up. We can't keep doing this. The lemon will give you unimaginable power. Promise me you'll eat it when the time is right. Promise me! I promise. The other day in my intro to criminal justice class, a student took out a whole lemon and started to peel it. And then he asked me for the time. So I told him and he went, oh, okay. In a sad tone of voice and put his partially peeled lemon back. in. <laughs> he, put his... <laughs> he put his partially peeled lemon back into his back. Almost ashamed of his actions. <laughs> My question is this. <laughs> what should I do if this situation comes up again? What is the code word that I can use so I can get this man to enjoy his lemon in class? I think he's some kind of citrus sleeper agent and I need advice. I love our listeners and I believe, I listen, I believe you. If you come to us with a question, that, that is a sacred bond of trust you put forward. I believe you. Except I don't believe this person because there's so many there's so many angles to this dangle that is just un- unimaginable. The fact that this person was apparently going to eat a lemon is like not even chief among them, but that they un- unpeeled, they unspooled this lemon a little bit, found out that the time was bad or wrong, and then put the partially unpeeled lemon, just going to let some of the raw flesh of the fruit touch the inside of my Jan sport. Here's what I think the proper response is in this situation. They start peeling the lemon. They say, excuse me, do you have the time? You do a dramatic take, make eye contact with him, and whisper, it's the sour hour, and then just everything <laughs> goes crazy. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>